Hello and welcome back to the art studio, Boardwalkers. Today I thought I would review this Studio C two sketchbooks and six colored pencil set that I received a couple of weeks ago from my um, younger brother. He likes to travel about and anytime he comes upon a small set of sketchbooks or unusual art supplies that he thinks I might like, he likes to get it and uh, send it to me. Um, as you notice, this price that he bought it for is $9.99. That's uh, U.S. dollars. I'm not sure exactly how much that would be converted to the um, euro or prices in Australia or India or Asia anywhere. But that gives you the U.S. price. It's normally, it says, $19.96 or $0.95. Cent, $0.95. Cents. But this is uh, two sketchbooks, and each of them have 75 sheets of premium drawing paper at 70 pounds, acid-free, ligament-free. The um, sketchbooks come in two different sizes, a little um, flip ring binder one that's in a portrait, which is 6 inches by 9 inches or 15.2 centimeters by 22.8 centimeters, or this larger sketchbook, which is 12 inches by 9 inches, 30 Point four centimeters by 22.8 centimeters. What I thought we'd do today is we'd open this up, use the um, six different colored pencils in it, and then also use my Pentel ink brush, ink tip brush, to see how it does with ink. And then I have my Winsor & Newton 14 set field travel set. And you guys know that I've added uh, cobalt blue here to the center. I've also added today um, cadmium orange. And then I also have in this water dish over here on this side my um, two whites. The Chinese white and the permanent white. And I've sprayed these down a little bit. I'll go ahead and redrop some water in these to let them still finish softening up and getting ready for us to use. But I thought I would share with you what this bargain art supplies would do. So let's see if I can get into this. Well, there we go. Let's see what this actually looks like. This comes with a nice sturdy piece of cardboard and I am actually going to keep that because sometimes I like to take pieces of cardboard like this and use them to make portable little sketchbook tables. So it says, oh this is made in Bristol Pennsylvania, USA. Well, it's sold by Studio C in, Prince, in Bristol, Pennsylvania, USA. But the paper is made in India. So this has got a nice plasticky cover on the front and the back. 
and it's perforated I don't know if you can see that but the paper is perforated it's very smooth texture mmm for a 70 pound paper that is really thin that's not like my other 70% papers that we use but this this one you could use portrait size or landscape size then we have the second one here brush the dust off of that um, the second one is in portrait format and again it's got the perforated sheets so that's nice you could take it and if you decide you made a mistake or something you could rip it out or if somebody if you're out sketching and somebody decides they want to have a painting of yours they could have it this one the paper is really thin in this one also so I think I'm going to set this big one aside for the moment and I think I would like to oops it looks like I have gotten my paint or my sketchbook in my paint here because I've got it all over my desk now that's lovely let's wipe that up there we go wipe off my sketchbook over here but I think I'm gonna put that big one to the side for the moment and I think I want to use this smaller one and we'll open it up and I think I'm going to put it landscape since I like landscape better and we'll swatch my wa watercolors and we'll try out these um, Studio C six color pencils Oh, they are pre-sharpened. I didn't check that to make sure. It looks like we have a yellow, a green, a blue, a purple, a red, and this is either going to be a black or a brown. I'm figuring it's going to be a black. So I'm going to put this box down here so these don't roll very far. But first, if you're new to my channel, I'm CB Mac, and you'll find tutorials about plain air painting with watercolors, gouache, ink, graphite, charcoal, colored pencils. And I also do art supply reviews like I'm going to be doing today. If you're enjoying this channel, could I ask you to please subscribe to it? Tap that thumbs up like button and share this video with others who you think might enjoy it. Could you also tap that bell icon to receive notifications for upcoming videos as well? It makes a huge difference to the growth and the support of my art channel. All right, let me label these. Let's see, I'm going to put Studio C color pencils. And Windsor and Newton watercolors. Cotton watercolors. This is a student grade. All right. 
So we're going to have a yellow, a blue, a green, red, a purple, and until I know for sure, I'm just going to put a B there, because we're not sure if that's brown or black. I'm pretty sure it's black, but I want to make sure. Okay. So, let's try out this colored pencil. This is really smooth. Like I said, this is really smooth drawing sketching paper. So, this would be perfect for me to take with just my... Pencils, my watercolor pencils, maybe. At least my um, colored pencils and my graphite pencils. These lay down color pretty well. I'm having to press pretty hard, which makes me wonder am I? marking on the bottom of the other sheet. Am I making any marks on that other sheet? And I'm not seeing any marks or indentations on the other sheet, so that's pretty good. Let's try this blue one. Now, I'm not putting very much pressure right now, so it's putting down enough color for a light color. And I've got this green. These are just some really basic colored pencils. Probably like school, primary school colored pencils you would use in school in grammar school or primary school. But they really, they work really well. I'm pretty pleased with them. Anytime there's free art supplies, I'm pretty pleased with it. If it's free, gifted to me, I will use it because I love creating and using different things. All right, let's see what this one is. I'm pretty sure this one's going to be a black. Yep. It, well, it's kind of like a sepia almost like a gray black almost it's not as dark as I thought it would be but that's a black all right and I'm going to put over here um India ink said India ink and then just wrote ink. India ink. And we'll try out this ink brush and see how bad this ink flows in it. how it holds up with the ink. It's already dried. The temperature here is really warm. So let's see how much this bled through. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. I mean, it puckered the paper a little bit, but it didn't bleed through.
let me um, put a really dark layer over here on the end of this. And let's see what we get. Let's see if that bleeds through. And again, it's pretty dry already. Oh, now it's starting to bleed through a hair. But that's still pretty doggone good. I can put a good layer of um, ink on that. And what I could do is um, put a piece of cardboard between that while I'm working on it, a thin layer. Let's check and see how this holds up with the watercolors. We've got the lemon yellow, and I will go through and label these afterwards. My paper towel and dry that off. We've got our cadmium yellow. We've got our cadmium red. Our alizarin red. Permanent Rose. Back up there. I believe this is Purple Lake. Yeah, Purple Lake. Let me label those while I got those correct with my pencil. Got lemon yellow. Cadmium yellow. Cadmium red. Lizarin red. Permanent rose. I'm just going to abbreviate that. And purple lake. Alright, then the next color is going to be Ultra Marine Blue, then Cerulean Blue, then I've got my Cobalt Blue. My cadmium orange. My viridian. Viridian green. My sap green. My yellow ochre, my burnt 
Sienna. My burnt umber. And then my Payne's Gray. All right. And we can finish swatching those out. All right. So we got to Ultramarine Blue. Come on, Blue. Get on there. Cerulean. The paper is not buffling too much with the watercolor. We got cobalt. Ooh. I forget how strong my cobalt is. And my cadmium orange. Oop, that one's going to be bright too. Viridian. That green. My yellow ochre. I am thinking I am going to love using these two sketchbooks to just take with me and do some plein air painting or some urban sketching when I uh, really want to do some line and wash work. Burnt Sienna. Come on, get on there. There we go. So we can see what you look like. All right. Then we've got the Burnt Umber. the paint's gray. There we go. Oh, I am liking that. The paper's not buckling, it doesn't look like. Not too bad. I mean, it's buckling a little bit. Well, I got a little bit of water, heavy water right there on the back. It's just buckling a little bit, but not as bad as I thought it would. I think this is going to be really nice to use. But for a cheap, well, not cheap, a budget-friendly Depending on whether it's on sale for $9.99 U.S. dollars or $19.95 U.S. dollars, that's not a bad deal for some quick, simple art supplies that you can gift your children to play with to get them interested in art or to use yourself for plein air painting and urban sketching. So I'm gonna have to let my uh, younger brother know how this went. I really love how this turned out. Um, 
There won't be many affiliated links in the uh, description below except for the Cotman watercolors and maybe the Pentel ink brush and my regular paint brushes, my Sharpie pen and my um, Pentel twist erase click 0 0.5 mechanical pencil. Um, and my needed eraser, but anytime you have a chance to pick up some budget-friendly art supplies, give it a try. There's nothing wrong with using budget art supplies, I don't think. I enjoy creating with it. So, Please feel free to post a comment or ask me any questions below in the description. I do read each and every comment, and I will definitely try to answer every question if you post one. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Goodbye for now.